Hey guys and welcome back to the Simprokai Guy channel. As you may know, I am a sucker for a good diagnostics tool, so today we are checking out this full system bidirectional 30 special function launch CRE Elite BMW scanner. I'm very excited to dive into this one as I haven't seen many new BMW specific scan tools with this much claim functionality in this price range. We of course get OBD2 functionality for basically all manufacturers of own vehicles from 1996. Graphing, reporting, uh, of course it can do DTC codes and everything like that. Very important that it can upgrade so you can support newer systems. At the moment it basically supports all BMWs up until this point. Minis and Rolls Royce as well, so very very cool. One really really important thing here is that it can do action or I believe they mean active testing. So this is the bidirectional functionality or even ECU coding. We'll have to you know check that out once we dive deeper into this uh, scanner. Special functions, there is close to 30 functions I believe which is pretty amazing, especially in this price range. And uh, of course it does a full system diagnosis or diagnostics. So let's open it up and check it out ourselves. So we have some documentation with the unit. We have the quick start guide. So this will basically tell you how to plug it in, what the buttons do and you know how to set it up for the first time. Use it if you never used one of these devices before. And of course we have the user manual that tells you a lot more information and looks like this is pretty much all in English. So it will give you a little bit more information how to use it, how to properly troubleshoot your car and what to look for. Looks like we haven't included a USB type C cable. So if you want to transfer most likely reports or things like that from the device to your computer, you can do so uh, here in the bottom. So let's open that up. You have the port and we have the micro SD card, uh, which does not come with the device, but you probably don't need it as it has some built in storage. This is, maybe rubberized plastic it's not very soft but it's definitely not hard plastic the cable is about i would say four maybe four and a half feet and the last thing on here is the screen i'm gonna take off the screen protector just don't like how they look and now we're gonna go plug this into a car and look into the software so far hardware wise it seems just fine but I'm very, very interested in what the software has to tell us. Additional use for the USB cable is, of course, that you can plug it into a, you know, power wall or just one of these power banks. And you can set it up while you're still, in, you know, in your garage or in the house instead of uh, doing it in the car. And then, of course, connect it to Wi-Fi to update all of the applications. So I'm just going to go through the process here. It shouldn't be too long. All right, so now that we're in the car, let's check out this device. And I'm very excited to show you what it can do as it can do a lot more than I even expected. So let's start with the boring stuff, get through it, and then we're gonna get to the meat and potato of this device. Of course, here at the bottom, we have a few different uh, buttons. We have the back button, the home button, and the settings button. Very cool. So let's start with the settings. We're gonna go to the settings, see what's in here. You can switch between metric and imperial. You can change the brightness, turn on or off the sound or the beeps. I like that off so it doesn't annoy me. Connect it to the Wi-Fi on my phone so we can see how the reporting works. Change the time zone, languages. So here are the languages that are available in case you are interested. Expiration date, I believe this is the support. So this device will be supported for the next 10 years. Pretty sweet. Workshop information, if you'd like to update your information in here, it will show up on the reports in the future whatever you generate and you can of course recover and clean up and basically uh, change it back to new if you'd like to sell it or let somebody else use it. It'll get rid of your personal information. And then you can turn on screen capture, which I like and I do want to keep that on. This will allow you to basically take a screenshot of whatever's on the screen. Going to data here, actually a lot of useful information. You have your diagnostic report. So whatever you save, the reports are gonna go in here. You can look up different codes, although this will do it for you automatically anyway. You can uh, look into the images or the screenshots that you have taken and you can do a couple other things like the user manual and other items uh, that you might find useful. Next is the mall. So basically this is like a little store that you can buy additional functionality. I don't think you need to do that unless 
I don't know, for some reason, you have this device only with you and then, you know, you have a Jaguar or like a Land Rover that you need to fix or a Mercedes, you can buy additional functionality for that vehicle or that make and model and then use it on that car. But I haven't tested it, don't know how it works, so don't quote me on that. Uh, then we have upgrade. You can basically upgrade uh, the software that's already pre-installed on this device. I had to download the BMW software for the first time just to get the latest version. This is version V50.9. Very cool. And then I have upgraded everything else that was on here just in case. So I have the latest stuff. Now, if you go to reset, you'll see that there's nothing here. But that's because all of the reset functions and special functions are going to be available through the diagnose button right here and i'll show you how that works in just a minute and then of course it also has obd2 this will basically do exactly what a lot of the less expensive scanners do uh, so it includes the functionality of all of those you know under a hundred dollar um, scanners just in this one little app and you can uh, read live data this is only the pids for the engine and the transmission the generic ones uh, you can of course uh you know clear fault codes read fault codes and uh, see if the car would pass emissions. So things like that, very useful, but nothing special. You can get it on a $50, $60 device, so I'm not going to go deeper into it. What I will talk about more is the diagnose function. So if we go in here, we are presented with auto detect. So this will basically scan your VIN number and then figure everything out on its own. Or you can just go to BMW and then this is the software we're going to be using. It tells you what it can do and it can do a lot. In case you're interested, I'll scroll through it. You can pause to see uh, those different functionalities. But anyway, I'm going to click OK. And now it will connect to the vehicle and show us what functions are available for this specific vehicle. In this menu, we have automatically search, manually select, coding, special functions, and anti-theft system. So uh, automatically search, this will automatically search um, all the functionality or automatically search what vehicle it is specifically and show us the functionality manually select we can select the vehicle and the modules individually and coding and special functions we'll talk about in just a little bit i'm going to go to automatically search just because that's easier and we'll let it do its own thing as you can see it found my vin number it tells me that this is a bmw i3 left hand drive all correct so i'm going to click next Once it's loaded, this new menu shows us the health report, system scan, system selection, special functions, anti-theft system, and coding and programming. So very similar to what we saw before, but now it's going to be more specific to the vehicle. So we can go to health report. We'll just start with that. And what this will do is scan every single module quickly without getting a ton of information about it and tell us kind of a general report. This is perfect for sending to customers or just getting a general idea of what's going on. So it will put all the modules with some issues or any kind of code to the top. As you can see, it's now at the top, just like that. And you can click report. And of course you can share this report through email. So that's pretty nice as well, as long as you're connected to the internet. At this menu, you can also hit clear code and it will clear all the codes for all of the modules, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna go to system scan. This will do in more in-depth scan of the entire system, all of the modules. And I wanna be very clear, this device can scan all modules on every single BMW that it supports, not just the engine and ABS and transmission, all of them. And to prove that we can go to, I don't know, something strange like the instrument cluster. So we can go to the instrument cluster and now we'll load even more information about it. it gives us the identity and all the other stuff that might be interesting to you and presents us with a few more options. So now we can read module specific code so this is not a generic code this is a code that you can google and it will show up as a bmw code very very important and very uh you know different from a lot of generic uh scanners this is very cool that you can see the actual um vehicle specific codes of course you can then clear those codes all it does boom the codes are clear and if you go back and you see both of them you see one of them so that means this one is actually a permanent code and something is actually wrong with you know with that module or with the vehicle then we can go into read data stream this is another amazing feature what this does it can show us live information from pretty much any module we are on the instrument cluster which is just right there so we can see some information from there as an example we can go to general um i guess we can do uh, total distance or we can do both 
course there's no rev counter because this is an electric car but there you go you can see that you can see the mileage from the car so you'll see true mileage from here right right from the module uh, you can of course go to something else like remaining range display so let's just select all of them and see what that gives us there you go all of that information so it tells you the average consumption so according to this it's 77 liters per 100 kilometers i probably should have switched to imperial because i don't really know what that means but there you go current range display 37 miles current electric range 67 miles Boom, all this information just, just right there. You have all this live information and you can even record it uh, or you can combine it and graph it. So if you want to graph it, you know, let's say like three of them. And this could be anything. It could be about an engine, a motor, uh, any other module on the vehicle. Of course, that's not going to change because we're just sitting here, but you can graph so many things at the same time. Very, very cool. This is, this is so much functionality for the for this little device that uh, I'm getting too excited about. But that's not even the end of it. So as you saw, we just had uh, live data, vehicle specific codes. Uh, we can even look into freeze frames. So if you have some emission items that have been stored on the computer, this can read those as well. But we also have actuation test, which is super cool. So this, this is what makes this a bi-directional scanner. Normally you can't even get one under like 300 bucks. So this is very cool. We can, you can reset the control uh, unit if you have issues or delete fault memories and stuff like that. But what I'm interested in is actually like the active tests. On this one, there's not a lot, but we can still see how it works. So they're just gonna turn on the blinkers for five seconds. Right there. See, this one's just easy to demonstrate and we can stop it. Boom, stopped. You can do this on every single module. There's just so many things you can do uh, just by this activation test that it's, it's amazing that this is included with this device. But anyway, let's go all the way back. So we've already done the health report, system scan. System selection is basically the same thing. This will just allow you to pick the modules individually instead of letting the vehicle scan all of, or the scanner scan all of the vehicle. Now, special functions is also a very special uh, menu here so if you go to maintenance you can do all of these things right here so you can reset your cbs uh, so if you change oil or something like that you can go in in here just reset those you can even remove and delete service history so very useful there as well and then you can go to more specific items like drive so this is going to be related to the motor or to the engine of the vehicle we can uh, like burn off a new catalytic converter. You can enable expert mode for the electric drive. You can reset the starter lock or delete installation mode for KLE, or you can start the range extender. So if you wanna use up the old fuel or you need to just test it, you can do that. And more importantly, you can disconnect, you know, high voltage systems. So if you're working in a electric car like this, you can do that from this device. How cool is that? Um, you can even read out serial numbers from the batteries to see if the serial numbers match what the vehicle is supposed to be. Tons and tons of stuff in here. That's just for the drive. And of course, you can go into a different section. So you can do the steering. You can do stuff. You can bleed the brakes. So basically the ABS functionality. You can work on your brakes and do all the workshop uh, stuff as well. You can go to body. You can even adjust the sunroof and make sure that's working properly. Enable and block remote keys so your key fobs uh, look at all these options it, basically what you're seeing here is what bmw can do from their big expensive computers maybe slightly limited from that but a lot of that information is in here and you can basically just do it for what like not that much money i'm very surprised at the price of this device if it stays under 200 bucks i'm going to be surprised because the people will just buy this up um, you can even register the battery exchange so just right there you can change the battery you can change you can uh, update it right there all right let's go back and see the last item here uh, coding and program so this is actually very cool what you can do is you can personalize the car and make changes to the vehicle that you want using this device I've done a video on my top 10 I believe uh, changes that I've done to this vehicle so check that out but I'll do a very brief overview here Basically, you go to personalization. Once it loads, you can go to 
each. Well, it gives you all the warnings. Of course, you can break stuff because you're literally changing how certain items are behaving. But once you go through all the warnings and all the vehicle information, you are presented with all of the basically modules that you can change. As an example, let's do the CIC. So that's the car entertainment uh, system or that display over there. Go to function select, click yes, asking you if you're sure you want to go in there. Let it process. <laughs> and here we can make the changes. So of course, there's going to be a lot of different changes depending on the module. I just picked one out of what was it like 27. Uh, but you can change the number of microphones you have installed depending on you know how your vehicle is uh, configured. You can get rid of the reverse video disclaimer. I've done that on this on this vehicle. I don't want it to be tell. I don't want it to tell me like, oh, be careful. You are, uh, you know, you're backing up. I know I'm backing up. I put the car in reverse. Um, show engine power and torque. So if you have like an M Sport vehicle, you might already have this enabled. But if you don't, you can add it to your vehicle. That's pretty cool. You can enable USB import for your map data. You can do so many things with this device. As an example, you can also make your mirrors go in and out when you lock the car. It's just gonna be in a different module, of course. But as you can see, each and every module has this many options that you can adjust. Of course, it's gonna take you some time to see like what you like and what you wanna actually adjust, but very, very cool coding is basically I haven't seen it on devices that are this inexpensive or I, so I guess it's just a lot of value for money here, but that's what I'm trying to say. But basically once you've done the changes in your personalization option, then you just go to coding and they will actually write it to the module. I'm not gonna do that right now, of course, because I'm just demonstrating the device, but yeah. All right guys, so I hope that highlights at least some of the things that this uh, device can do. As you can tell, it can do a lot. So to just summarize, it can do, uh, bidirectional functionality, so those are the active tests. It can do a lot of the special functions that I've shown you. It has a pretty cool 4-inch touch display, Wi-Fi enabled, so you, you know if newer cars come out, you can definitely get the updates for those. Of course, it's free as well. It has OBD2 functionality for all the other cars, so it's not just BMW specific. It's honestly inexpensive for what it is and uses the same software as the X431 series devices which are well over a thousand bucks. Of course, it's just limited to BMW. Those can do it on other cars as well. What are some of the cons? Well, I don't know, maybe it's using the older version of Android, but honestly, it's been very well implemented. I haven't had any lag. It's quick to respond and, you know, just things like that. Uh, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this BMW scanner down below in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.